New this morning, it was an historic night for the Fargo Moorhead Red Hawks. The team won its first championship since joining the American Association of Professional Baseball back in 2011. Take a look at that celebration there. The Red Hawks defeated the Milwaukee Milkmen in an instant classic. I think it's because we went to the uh, first matchup of the division playoffs. Well, you're the luck ch lucky charm there. <laughs> well, listen to this. They were down by six runs all before rallying to win it all in the bottom of the 10th inning. Yep, they even had to go into that extra inning. Luckily, our sports team caught up with the manager, Chris Coast, after his team's big win. I played in the World Series and I was way more nervous for this than in 2008, which is hard to believe, but this for us, it, it means the world to all of us, everyone in this organization. I know I'm putting a lot of words, but it, it's still hard to really fathom and put this into words right now. Well, another congratulations to them. Coast, as many of you know, is a former pro ball player. He was the catcher for the Red Hawks from 96 to 99, and that was just before he got called up to the big leagues by the Pittsburgh Pirates. But we found out also he made a really big debut with the Phillies. Our producer chiming in on that one, too. Yeah, good stuff there. We'll take a look at outer space. NASA releasing clear new images of Neptune for the first time in more than 30 years. These gorgeous shots were captured through the Webb telescope. Amazing images. Neptune is 30 times farther from the sun than Earth, and it has fascinated researchers since it was discovered in 1846. Now the images clearly show Neptune's fainter dust bands in addition to the seven of its 14 known moons. Well, this looks like an opportunity of a lifetime for North Dakota 8th graders, and there's still time to enter AAA's Discovery Crew Travel Contest. Now, 60 winners from 14 states will go on a free week-long educational river cruise wow. in Europe. That sounds amazing. However, only 10 people from North Dakota have entered so far to win. Students have to answer three essay questions and then submit a travel-inspired selfie. There's no entry fee, and you do not have to be a member of AAA to win, that seems super easy mm -hmm. to win this trip. I mean, that is worth thousands of dollars right there. Yeah, listen up, kiddos. Don't wait on this. The deadline to enter the contest is today, and you're in good hands. We have a link. It is available. Just head on over to valleynewslive.com. Well, every dog deserves its day. For this poor old pup, that day was Tuesday in Pasadena. He's blind, and he fell into a deep construction hole. Oh, poor dog. He was 15 feet down. Firefighters had to be lowered into that hole, strap a harness onto the dog, and then both of them were pulled up. Thankfully, you see him right there. The pup not hurt. Now happy to be home this morning with its humans. Good ending to that story there. Mm -hmm. Let's see if people are responding, though, to our question of the morning on Facebook. Our question today is, this piece of furniture reached its peak in sales in 1986, but sales have since plummeted by over 90%. And here are some of your answers. Dave says a china hutch. Steve says a beanbag chair. That's a good one. And Christian says, a love seat. Hmm. To leave your answer, always check out our question Monday through Friday on the Valley News Live Facebook page. We'll be back with the correct response later on. I know we're all on the edge of our seats. <laughs> and we'll find out what that is <laughs> yeah, later. Yeah, thank you for picking up on my joke. Yep. <laughs> it is now 627. New this morning, police are zeroing in on who they say is responsible for all of those school shooting hoaxes this last week in Minnesota. Plus, Lisa Green will be joining us with a look at our morning forecast and a look ahead to the weekend. Stick around. You're watching The Valley Today.